Hi everyone, here's a mini album that I created with some inspiration from Kathy Order and Mariko from Chibi Chibi and Milo. The paper collection is Jolly Holiday from Recollections. I got it at Michael's during their 70% off sale. So this is the front cover. The inside, I did like a layout right here. I used my EK Success Punch, Photo Punch right here. And I wanted this to look like a pocket or an envelope style pocket. So I just added a strip of extra paper with a snowflake to make the button closure. And I will probably put some photo mats here and right there. Large photo mat and two in front. I used the note tab punch. Here's another pocket page right here where I used a made a belly band and a large, well not a large, but a long photo tab and I'm probably gonna put two small photos on here. In the back of it I'm gonna add a photo right there I thought that was just something cute to do with some scraps that I had left over Get it going right now. there we go okay. Other side I just made these two books to go in this was a smaller one with the Santa that won't come up, but a Santa stamp sticker. And the inside just has different photos um, pages. That I'm going to put some photos on. Just a large photo mat style. I haven't finished putting paper on it. Because I didn't want to use up all my paper yet. I wanted to wait till I got to the end of the book to really add paper and photo mats everywhere. This page I'm going to use for cookies. So when we make cookies, we'll put the photos here. I just added some stickers. And I made a top loading page. And it says baked for you with another little spot to hold some tags there we go pretty paper I love this paper collection it is very cute sparkly like my daughter <laughs> So right here is an undercut pocket. Kathy uses these a lot and I love them. Don't stop using them. <laughs> There's an envelope style um, tag that I wanted. I just put like a little stamp sticker right there to make it look like an envelope in the back. And then the trees right there. This paper is not from this collection, but it is cute. My daughter wanted it in the book. <clears throat> it is from Die Cuts with a View, and I used it on the spine. And it tends to crack if you fold it, which I've noticed. And Kathy has said that a lot about the Die Cuts with a View paper. But um, I love the paper, so I just wanted to use it, had to use it. Put a little sticker right here and backed it on some black cardstock. Added another large tag. It says Be Merry. More on the back. And all these large spaces I'm going to use for layouts. So once we have the photos from Christmas, then I'll be able to um, determine how I want the layout to look. It's right here just a photo mat and I'll probably add another one right here and this right here is just a side tag with another larger side tag right here 
And that idea I got from the Retrofitted Mini, where it has the side loading and the top loading right here. Just a little tag. But it's hidden so that you can't see that it's actually parted right there. And I love that because it gives me an opportunity to have another top loading. So here's the back. Another undercut page with another envelope style tag. And I added another tag for this just to have a little extra photo space. I love this tree paper. It's really cute and sparkly. It says, Oh, Christmas tree. Here's another large tag. And my daughter has gotten so much into scrapbooking. She's asking me every day to scrapbook with me. So she said one day, Mom, can I have a scrapbook? And I said, Sure. So this is going to be her Christmas present along with some Christmas scrapbook paper and some American ha um, American Girl uh, card making kits that they had at Michael's. So she's going to love it. I love this paper. I love how sparkly it is. It's really cute. I just love the way this book came together. Here's an envelope style um, page. And it just opens up. I have a tag right in here. And just add a little snowflake to make it look like a button. Same as the front. Okay. Another undercut with a small tag. And this page comes out. Large tag. Here we go with the red Christmas trees open in the back. Snowflake page. And I had to add another one of the EK Success photo strips just because I already had one in the front, so I decided to add another one. And then it says, my favorite gift. With a large layout tag right here. And I love doing layouts. I just don't ever seem to have the time anymore with homeschooling and my baby and everything else. It's just so much. So I thought maybe I'd throw some large uh, scrapbook pages inside. My mini album like Kathy did with the retrofit and it works perfect. Just love the large tags. They give you ample space for um, layouts if you choose to do that. Here's another tag book. And quick block on the inside and the back. I love the way the paper just goes together so nicely. I just love the colors, everything. So here's a back, the very back of the book. And I added this little tension bar right here to hold these photo mats in a little book. So here's the photo mat. And in the book, I have to take this part. Have to take the ribbon off and it's hard to do one-handed so it opens up to little photo spots and then the back of the book and these are from October afternoon the miscellany pack so there's my mini album and I want to say the size was 10 by 7 I cannot remember but um, the spine is probably two and a half. It was really thick. I even had to um, add some hot glue in there just to uh, keep it stuck to the spine of the book because it kept wanting to pull.
pull away from this all being heavy. It's really good weighted. It's not going to tear anytime soon, that's for sure. But um, I love the way this book came together. I used a lot of different inspiration from Kathy and Mariko and just ran with it. I just didn't even have anything in mind and I just wanted to just get it done for them, for my daughter. And I just, just started, oh, I like this. Okay, we'll do a couple of pockets like this. And I absolutely love it. I one day just sat on YouTube looking at different videos and just going back through all Kathy's videos and just trying to see what I might want to um, do with the book. And I just put it all together and I'm so happy with it. Thank you, Kathy, for giving me this inspiration. I really love these large photo mats. And um, Mariko, you too. A lot of inspiration from your albums that you've sent me and have made for others. I just love it. Love how much space and real estate I have in this book. So I'm hoping my youngest wants an, a book too and I've already prepped the book and I just need to make the base pages and get that um, done. But once I do that, I'll upload another video and hopefully it won't be as bad as this one. <laughs> but I thank you for coming by and checking out my video. Thank you so much. Have a blessed holiday. Bye.